Hello? Are you there, Internet? Internet. Hello, hello. My name is Coral. This is Stony Sunday episode, I believe, 190. And I am here with Smacking Dad. What's up? And I really hope that this broadcast is working. We've had, like, the hellish 48, 72 hours, maybe. Yeah, it's, yeah. Been, it's been a little crazy. It's been pretty crazy, but I think now is a good time to just sit and smoke and chill. We almost, by the way, I'm just... Okay, happy Stony Sunday, first of all. Stony Sunday is a weekly question and answer show. Questions are almost always about pot, but you guys get to ask whatever, so ask questions in the chat. We have the live stream going. Ah. So if you ask questions, we can see them. Yeah. And then during the question answering, we generally smoke pot, which almost wasn't possible because the torch just broke. We only brought one torch, one glass rig, our nectar collector, and then you tried fixing the torch, but... Nope, not working. What it's happened? Done. The, the, I don't know, it's leaking out of the bottom where you fell it. There's just a, I don't know, I think the little thing's pushed in and now we can't get it out. It's leaking know. butane, which is not good. Yeah, not safe. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So we put that by the window and then thought maybe we weren't going to be able to smoke at all on Stony Sunday, which was horrible. Yeah, that'd be stupid. It was going to be like one of the only times ever. But there are edibles and John actually came through with the Hellstone. Yes. So that's awesome, and we will be smoking. Oh, I'll load shit. you up a dab. I got some right here. Where'd the lighter go, though? I think it's still in the bag, which is holding the camera. Oh, okay. I'll hold this. So, so Stony Sunday, maybe we don't have a lighter. We just had it. Maybe you're sitting on it. I'm not sitting on it. Oh, it's on the bed. See, it's right behind okay. me. Ha ha. Um, yeah, I don't see any questions coming in, so I'm not sure exactly how these things are working. But the live episodes are sometimes laggy. Very apologetic about that. They are the best that I can do when I'm out on the go. Editing and everything takes hours and hours, and I wouldn't be able to put up a stony Sunday while I've been away for the weekend. And it's just, this is the best that we can do, and it's fun, I think. Yeah, pretty cool. Um... It's been crazy. So yeah, we almost couldn't smoke. Now we can. I'm going to load up a dab and get this Sunday turn in stony. Oh, no questions yet. I know. I can't actually see that anyone's here. Will someone just type in the live stream and confirm that you are alive in the live stream? Last week's live episode was so interactive. It was crazy. It was like, question, question, question. And it was awesome. And I was like super pumped about this week's. But then this for those of you that follow me on social media other than YouTube, you might know I spent a night in jail on she did. Friday night. She did. He didn't spend the night no. in jail, but he was in the like waiting area for a good portion of the night. So we both had long nights of sitting there. Oh, look, someone says Happy Stony Sunday. Thank you, Barefoot Stoner. They're here. Live stream is live. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, so we were supposed to leave Friday night and completely unrelated to marijuana, just a personal emergency that legally mandated I spent a night in jail um that happened so we didn't leave on time yeah got delayed a little bit and then what happened oh yeah, yeah. I got home from taking her home from jail and we had a flat tire a flat yeah. tire on what car a uh, borrowed car yeah a borrowed hey, full car size spare. full size spare I saved the day that's true yeah so um plan that ahead have a have a full size spare if you let somebody borrow your car. Yeah, not the little puny like drive to the nearest gas station and pray spare. Yeah. Like this is actually a regular size spare, so that helped us significantly. Yeah, that would have been like another you know hundred dollars at least out of the pocket to fix a car that's not I'm even not yours. I'm paying bail for the first time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <coughs> so then we had the flat tire, <coughs> but then we got all the way up here. And, well, like, you know, John fixed the tire. It was awesome. I didn't know that you could do that that quickly or anything. My stepdad's a mechanic, and in my family, that means you're, like, family's the bottom of the list in car repairs, so normal repairs take, like, months. And so I had no idea that was just, like, a half-hour fix. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So then we get all the way up here, and we get a hotel. It's fine. We snuck the cats into the hotel with us. Yeah. And then we realized we were supposed to check out on Sunday and go spend Sunday at the Cup, and where the fuck were the cats <laughs> supposed to go? 
So then we had to extend the rental through Sunday night, even though we're going to check out this evening. It's been very weird. But then we woke up this morning and there's no power. Yeah, we had no power. Like, uh, I tried going downstairs. The elevator didn't work. I had to walk down the stairs and it was it was so dark. That, like, there was one light on the end of, like, the little tunnel area. And I was like, of the stairs. I was like, what the fuck is going on? It was horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Santa Rosa, I don't like you so far. <laughs> it's personal, dude. It feels like our hometown was like, don't go there, like, don't go, try not to go. Yeah, and then we got here and they are like, we are not very at all. <laughs> you should stay the night in jail and sit down <laughs> to Santa Rosa is basically what the weekend has said. <laughs> <coughs> we did not lose uh, power in jail. Hopefully what's up, what's up, Dan? What's, what's up, Shanae? Dan and Shanae, hello, our Australian reefers, some Australian reefer friends. Um, I saw also, where are we? Ash McKee, Ashley McKee says she loves the new shirts. We are live models right yeah, now. Yeah, purple. Mm, Vogue. Uh, you're supposed to do something like that. But he's wearing <laughs> the purple hemp one, and then I have the new green hemp one, and it's much darker than the other Stony Sunday shirts, but it's awesome. It's awesome. And then Don keeps telling me how much he likes that one, because it's not pink purple. It's like dark. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. <coughs> <coughs> hey, what's happening with your gauges? <coughs> the first official question! Yeah! These gauges are a size double zero. I took about two years to get to double zero, and the biggest factor between going up in sizes for me was the comfort level. Like, I never thought about going up another size until the ears were, like, loose and soft again. Um, I know it sounds weird. It sounds so weird if you haven't done it. But like if you just stretch your ears, they're really tight and they hurt and they're like filled with blood because it hurts a lot. Um, you know, you just puncture it or whatever, or you know, stretch it. Um, so once your ears like relax and they're back to like flabby ears, then stretch it bigger if you want. And I wouldn't go bigger than a double zero. I like, personally, like go as big as you want. Personally, I wanted it to kind of match the size of my lobe so it was like a smooth line, not like a buzzed out line. That's my gauge ramble. Gauge ramble. Hmm. Someone said wait 10 seconds, but I don't know for what. Just wait. No, you can't. 10 Too seconds. Excited. I can't wait. Um, no, no I'm, I'm not waiting. I'm answering another it. question. David Paul asked, how is everyone doing? How are you? I'm pretty good. Got a good night's sleep last night. Um... That's about it. Who did you have fun at the cup yesterday? It was pretty cool, actually. It was a lot better than, like, the San Bernardino Cup. Like, the vibe felt a little better. It wasn't as loud. It wasn't That's as true. intense. Uh, I don't know. It was cool. It was cool. It was, uh, the medicated area was huge. It was gigantic. I didn't even see all of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, was, yeah it was just gigantic. And, uh, yeah, we didn't spend much time there, but it was really cool. I ate some uh, basil ice cream for the first time. That was probably the best ice cream I've had, weed or not, in a good while. You know what's yeah. crazy is that there was medicated ice cream, there was also medicated snow cones, and another ice cream place by the front of the medicated area, too. Yeah, this morning I heard medicated chicken wings, you said? I yeah, want, yeah. I want some fucking medicated chicken wings. There's so much food this time. Like, last time there yeah. were samples of sweets, a lot of, like, brownies and rice krispie treats and cookies, but there's, like, diversity this time. Fucking chicken wings. Chicken wings. By the way, if we can get the cats on this episode, it'd be awesome because we did bring them with us. And this is Stash's first Stony Sunday. He's tiny. Ever. He is freaking little. John and I adopted another kitty, Doc. Um, Dr. Raphael hey, Mashulam is just over a year old now, and he's been with us for just under a year. But we've contemplated getting a second kitty. And on my birthday, I brought Stash home. He was already named Stash, like a stash of the good stuff, not like a mustache. More questions. Any other trips planned this year? Wait, uh, go back. Oh, my bad. Too far. Too far. Um, Barefoot Stoner. I think they're a UK reefer, if I remember right. And they're wondering if there are any other trips planned this year. Um, Hempfest in Seattle, for sure. And then Kansas for one of my friend's weddings. <laughs> and uh, <coughs> Boston. Boston. Oh my god, I really want to do that. Yeah, yeah, that one. That's, I think that's about it, right, as of now. 
<coughs> maybe, maybe the Emerald Cup up here, but that's not really too big of a trip. <coughs> um, yeah, Boston in September, and then October is Kansas for your yeah. <coughs> friend's wedding. We're also going to try and do a meetup in Kansas. <coughs> I'm dead. <coughs> It's going to be like the second or third week, I think, in October. Something like that. I don't want to get too specific yet because we still have to book tickets and really make the plans. And your friend's wedding comes first. And, like, there's going to be probably celebrations before and after and hanging out. And, like, yeah, remember that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <coughs> it's going to be awesome. But we are going to do a meetup while we're in that area because I've never been to the Midwest. To my memory. I might have traveled there with my mom when I was a baby. Like, there were states or whatever. Indiana, if that counts. Yeah, I'd say Indiana's <coughs> pretty Midwest. <coughs> but, <coughs> haven't been to Kansas, and I'm really, really looking forward to meeting, like, your friends that are local, and then also where different reefers come from for that meetup. Yeah. Sounds like it's going to be really fun. And then the next international trip was Spain that Spain. we were looking at. I really, really hope so. Yes. <coughs> <coughs> My question. <coughs> I'm so coffee. <coughs> <coughs> My question for smacking is why does coral, why do I cough more than you? I don't know. Good question. I don't know the answer. I don't either. I'm not all science like. <laughs> I switched it up, by the way. I'm on Dr. Pepper this morning, not Pepsi. What about that? Uh oh. Yeah. Fucking people's heads. Um, I, oh shoot, cancel that. I love burritos 13 says that when they dab, they cough so much. <coughs> I know what that's like. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> and they get a lot of mucus and spit when they cough. Mm -hmm. Kind of gross, but it happens, I think, to a lot of stoners. Is that normal? Because it's not fun. Do you ever spit when you're coughing? Um, far and few between, but yeah, it happens. It definitely happens. <coughs> like, you get the dab spots. <coughs> You know, and then, <coughs> then your throat hurts where you can't swallow it, and you just start spitting because you don't know what else to do. <coughs> Hopefully you're outside by a trash can when it happens. I feel <laughs> like when I was dabbing less and we were smoking more flour in Australia, I ended up coughing far less, but when I was smoking mostly flour, like, on the daily before I was dabbing, I did cough up more mucus and phlegm. So it was confusing yeah. experiences. Because, yeah, when I would only smoke flour when I was, like, 18 through 22 or 23 before I found concentrates, um, and even before 18, whatever, I would be coughing up, like, in the mornings. I'd be like, <coughs> and, like, spit and phlegm would come out. It was so gross. But I was like, that's my life, I guess. Like, that's what it's going to be if I want to smoke. But then since I had dabs, I cough more in the moment and not later as, like, a just random byproduct. But then when we skipped dabs, I coughed way less overall. And there wasn't phlegm. Fun is pretty nasty. This is a very scientific and medically accurate show, so sometimes oh. we have to talk about phlegm. Damn the accurate part. <laughs> <coughs> I can't read that. <coughs> oh yeah, <coughs> by the way, we are showing these shirts not just to be all vogue and modely, but because they just came in. The people that printed the shirts are handmade apparel, and they're actually here at the cup. They shipped them before they came to the cup, and so then they both got here, and it was awesome. But I'm also at the cup, so I'm not with all of the goodie bags and envelopes and, like, mailing supplies. So I will have the shirts mailed out Monday through Friday, I'm pretty sure. Some might go out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of the next week, but they should almost all be out by, like, the 4th of July, essentially. Um, I have to apologize because that is in July and I said they'd be going out in June. It's just the best that I can do. We had to wait till checks cleared and I could pay for the shirts and they could print the shirts and they had to send to me. Um, so yeah, they are not going out in June as predicted, but they are going out. They're all here, black, purple, and green. And then since they're here, I've opened up the pre-orders for the next round. So if you haven't ordered yet, you can, and you aren't ordering a shirt that I have in hand, you're pre-ordering for the next batch. It's weird and confusing, but I think as I have shirts going out, I'll open orders for the next round, and then those shirts will come in and go out, and the next round will be open, and that way I can kind of always have shirts available, because I've had 
more closed time with the shop than open mm. and it's frustrating for people because they can't get shirts and hopefully this way shirts are always available for ordering and yeah yeah happy 420 in the morning in australia <gasps> happy 420 in the morning oh my god you guys are up so early or late or something this is your dad oh, by the way uh we'll smoke for 420 for that yeah. brisbane time um token with Mill, I can't read the end of the name because it's long. With Miles, ooh, asks if um, they're not sure if we answered it earlier, but what are we smoking today? What's going on? OG Kush from the Cookie Co. Cookie uh, Co. It's pretty crazy. Twenty dollar grams of shatter. Um, a lot of people have said that they aren't tested and stuff like that. They, uh, I mean, they're made by well-known extract artists. Sometimes they're not even labeled on there just because. Ooh. It's just like the deals that they have with the cookie code to keep the prices fairly low. Um, I was super surprised, <coughs> but like, like surprised that it was confirmed, but not that surprised that it was true. But yeah, we were hanging out with some friends of ours that make extracts under a name, and we brought over cookie code stuff, and they're like, oh yeah, we made that, but it's not really under our name. We yeah. made it for our friends just to help them. And it was like, damn, you can get their stuff for $20 a gram? Yep. Like... So, I don't know, I was pretty impressed, and they said, like, our friends that make extracts were like, oh yeah, they had this batch tested, blah, 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 and I was like, rumor has it, Cookie Code doesn't test at all, but then some of the extract artists that have dropped stuff off have seen the test results and stuff, so. Yeah, and then, they were also, people have also, like, when I've been in there, they've had some pretty shitty looking stuff, but they, they, yeah, they like, have. even from people that we have talked to that uh, vended and have been denied, yeah. Like vending to them because their stuff wasn't good enough. Oh yeah, that's into true. a standard of point of like safe smoking. So it kind of it's kind of like, I don't know I don't know what to believe what what not to believe. Uh, but yeah, twenty dollars a gram never hurts. California well, never hurts. California doesn't have seed to sale regulations. So when it comes to a concentrated product or even edibles, there is no actual state mandated regulation for proper growth, proper curing, processing. So I feel like it is more risky buying concentrates in California. Like, it is, you have to, word of mouth, um, like, pers not personality, but uh, reputation, it can matter a lot. Yeah. Because there's no actual system to be like, they're bad, they're good. So you really have to go based on experience and who's trying what. And it's different than Colorado, where it's seed to sale. And that's what Washington's been testing to do with their legalization as well. And that is going to, I think, obviously ensure a cleaner and probably cheaper product, too overall but yeah it's just different california is different some people were laughing that at our cup there was a medicated section and at the colorado cup it was all public smoking and it's like well obviously yeah. colorado is legal for anyone that's of age i think 21 or over yeah. and in california it's just different we have a patient area which was huge there's just row after row normally cups i've been to it's like either a loop or just one row yeah. you know but this was like zigzag zigzag like just so many booths and then the non-smoking area was still super sick and had so much food and yeah it was actually really cool spend more time there today doing stuff for sure we are doing the live stream probably like 11 to 12 ish our time and then we're gonna go to the cup and hang out at oil slick pretty much the rest of the day chill dab get really stoned all day everyone that wears a stony sunday shirt and comes to the oil slick booth gets a super fat dab obviously <laughs> i'm so so excited and now there's more shirts than ever so, I mean, we're going to be the only ones in these two colors. But, weekend, what about oil slick shirts? Oh, yeah, there's oil slick shirts, too. Are we supposed to wear those ones or the big ones? They want us to wear those ones, but it's Stony Sunday. What do you do? They, I saw <coughs> Richard Handmade made a green, like, oil slick, handmade logo, like, oil slick on the side, glitter writing Stony Sunday shirt. He didn't give it to me yesterday. I, you know, he tagged me on Instagram. He's like, look what I made, only one of one. And then I didn't get to see it. So there's a chance that I can wear both at once. Becca. Sorry. Whatever. <laughs> I, yeah, there's a chance. But if you're wearing a Stony Sunday shirt and you come to the oil slick booth, I'm going to dab you out super, super fat. Super fat. Ooh, poke smot. I love that name, by the way. Did you ever say that in high school? Do you want to go poke smut? Oh, I mean, I heard people say it, but I never did. I always got, like, tongue twisted. Oh, my God. I mean, my friends will say it all the time. Like, what are you doing? Poking smut? And I'm like, what are you talking about? Um, anyway, poke smut is wondering if we will be attending challenge. I think so. I think so. I think so, yeah. 
Um, we are on a shoestring budget. It's all grassroots here, but as long as we can keep doing what we're doing and making sure that we keep it in a sustainable way, like it looks like we can probably attend. I haven't booked a car to get down there or a hotel, and after my exciting jail stay, I will have a court date, and I hopefully everything will be all done by then. Yeah. Um, but I also have to like go to another thing on this weekend right before. I don't know. There's so much going on. Shit. So hopefully we'll be a bunch of stuff too with that whole jail thing. That's not good. Bam. Um, I wasn't busy enough. I was like, yeah, let's just, fuck it. Let's yeah. just waste time sitting here doing absolutely nothing. So long, wasting so much time. Um, yeah, but we want to go to Chalice. I have to give a huge thank you to Amy Like Spire, who makes these really cute unicorns. They're glass unicorn rigs. They're adorable. They have sometimes an opal in the horn. Uh, she sent us passes for the cup, cause, or for Chalice. For Chalice. I told her that we were on a tight budget and I wasn't really sure if we were going to make it. And so she was really sweet and she's like, I don't know if this is going to change anything, but at least you can get in if you're in the area. So thank you, Amy Likes Fire. I am super, super excited to someday pay off bail and then save up and get one of your rigs because they're so cute. Um, John's just like chowing down and he doesn't even tell you what Sorry, you're eating. I was Isn't hungry. that so rude? So rude. What is it? Um, fruit leather by. This Some company. lady who was really nice. She was really, really nice. She gave us a bunch of this fruit leather and lollipops and um, a really fat nugget. Super of wheat. fat nugget. You I'm should find it. It's really pretty. Super fat nugget. She's like, here. And I was like, holy shit, back off. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> what? Back off. If they come with edibles, no backing off. Super fatty nug. We didn't even bring any way to smoke flour or container, bovida, nothing. So this is just like being carried around gently in set places. <laughs> Here's the nug. Okay, you hold on to it now. Put the nug right there. It's good. It's good. Yeah, she was really cool. I'm going to eat the other one of these now. I didn't feel like super medicated last night, but I was also like just so tired. I just fell yeah. asleep. Yeah, I think I went to sleep at like four o'clock to oh, like, yeah. like sometime like seven at night. We were at Kathy's booth, the artist Kathy Lee from three to four and then pretty much as soon as that was over we were like, let's go to the car and then the hotel and then just home. We we're like, no, just the hotel and the bed. Yeah, and we just went to sleep and call it good for it. I don't know what flavor this one is, but I'm into it. Oh, it says strawberry, watermelon, mango, pineapple, coconut, orange, and lemon. It's a lot of flavors. I like it. Just make a word for that. Fruit punch? I guess so. Um, I'm like, how do I get here without blocking the camera? Let's see. <laughs> um, Natalie Joy Miles, if cannabis is legalized medicinally in Florida in November, would you plan a trip out there? I wouldn't wait for medical legalization to plan a trip at all. I wouldn't wait for that. Yeah. Um, my trips, the, the way that I pick where we go, is based on familiarity with the event, um, number of reefers mentioning a certain area, because it's really exciting for me to go to like a hotbed of reefer activity and know that there's a bunch of people there that are active, involved, there's normal groups, there's ASA, like, so if more people are mentioning a certain city or a certain event, a meeting, then I'm more likely to look into it personally as well. And then also what we can afford, you know, we do yeah. this all just us. John just went back to work full time, so there will be a little bit more money coming in. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, not a lot more though. Health insurance, so that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. That's a bonus. That, that's what we're going for. <laughs> or that's what I'm going for. Whatever. Yeah. But we're not ruling out states. I mean, we're going to Kansas. They don't have medicinal. Yeah, they don't have shit. But I mean, we'll go there and get really high. We will. We definitely will. So it's not that there is a checklist of what a city has to have for us to go, but um, it is just whatever is feasible and whatever is sustainable. I've been to Florida a bunch of times when I was growing up, and I had a great time, but I've never really been as an adult, so, I don't know. I would go. I wouldn't go. Okay, sometimes when I get text messages, the live show stops, and I got really scared just now. I was like, oh my god, but I think everything's okay. You guys are still there. Um, Amanda Canada, <laughs> it's kind of hard to read names, says... Do stories like the 19-year-old who faces 99 years in prison for pot brownies make me upset or guilty? 
Um, I don't know. Like, you're, I, I'm upset, but like, you can't be upset by every story. Like, you can't be like, torn apart by every story. Um, it sucks that somebody it happened, but you know, hopefully through through his arrest, you know, people will <coughs> speak up and get him out. Like, screw the 99 years. Let's get him out now. You know, like it can happen. And you know, like it takes stories like this to make legalization happen. It really does. Like, it sucks to say it, but. I don't feel guilty that he is going through the legal process, and I personally am not being prosecuted for yeah. cannabis. Um, but I do feel motivated as fuck. Like, yeah. that's what has always bothered me, is the idea that, like, if I'm okay, that it doesn't matter for everyone else, and that's never been true. Like, it is upsetting to see the prohibition destroying lives. Like, his family was just so shocked by the chance that their their son was going to be taken away for the rest of his life just for what happened. Like, yeah. it seemed like the quotes from his dad, he was like, this is unbelievable. Like, we understand he broke the law, but this is unjust, you yeah. know? Yeah, it's stupid. <clears throat> so it definitely motivates me. Um, I've never really been the, like, competitive smoker, like, show-off type personally. I've tried not to be. Um, it just doesn't feel very comfortable. Is true. I'm just kidding. But like, um, that that's the big reason is because while we have prohibition, like why go around being like, you know, rolling around in weed and other people are getting arrested and facing life for brownies. I will indulge in these edibles though in his honor. <laughs> that one's for you, dude. For you. Um, okay, let's see. Mm 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 mm. Johnny Death says I think Death. I might have just made your name creepy though. Johnny Deer? Something. This <laughs> what was the best strain you had at the cup yesterday? I didn't see a lot of nugs, so I'm gonna say this mystery nug was the best flower I saw. Pretty damn good. And concentrate wise, the ice box we had was probably the tastiest. Yeah, from the dank man. That guy that guy is killing it there. Used a nectar collector for the first time on that like on water hash and it, it was amazing. I am um, I loved it. It was it was so good. I was doubtful on like nectar collector, water hash, like mm. but it was straight from the jar. It was awesome and it was so smooth and tasty and I didn't cough. Yeah, I don't it's just amazing how you don't cough at all. Okay. When you smoke good water hash. And the Dank Man seven oh seven is his Instagram screen name. Um he had Rach X ninety four and Smoke Perp four twenty loading up dabs and we missed them actually at the booth, but they're friends of mine and I was super stoked that they're there all day passing out ice wax dabs. BHO all day for infrequent smokers can be pretty heavy and I yeah. think ice wax is a little more like approachable as a high. Um so it was cool that there's like a popular, fun, like kind of trendy looking ice wax thing. I mean, there's always been some trendy ice wax, but this seems more approachable, if you ask me. Yeah, yeah. And he, yeah, it's nice. It was pretty cool. I mean, every single person that walked up to him yesterday, he gave him a cool pin. You know, it was like, I mean, it's something small and whatever, but it's a free thing. It's not a business card or a flyer from a magazine. Or a coupon, or like when you buy something, yeah. you get something. You know, so it was kind of cool just to see somebody giving something to people that just said hi. So. Yeah, it's always nice for me when, like, I mean, I'll get stuff for giveaways, and it's really nice when they can be generous and do that, but then when they also are generous to the next person behind me who doesn't have an audience, like, that to me speaks volumes, and that's pretty much what happened with Dink Man. I asked if I could get a pin for a giveaway, and he gave me, like, five or six, and I was like, oh my gosh, thank you so much, and then some random guy behind me, he was like, hey, here's a pin for you, like, let's get you a dab, and it was like... He's just so generous and cool, and so tomorrow on Monday, I am going to announce a giveaway for June's Sea Vault, and I'm stuffing it with stuff from the cup. I don't know if I told you that. Oh, right. But yeah, I'm going to stuff the Sea Vault, so the pin's going in there from Bank Man. There might be a vapor or a vape pen holder from Vapor Ray, maybe, if I can get that today, um, and anything I can fit in the Sea Vault, and then probably a shirt or something, too. So, cup stuff will be very exciting. Um, I did see... Uh, Ms. Brat13 asking if I was going to do a video with Haley. We met Haley yesterday. Oh, first yeah, impression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. Oh, um, no, that's a horrible first impression. Well, no, no, like, I didn't really meet her. What I, the I, fuck? I, like, she, you, you guys were busy. That's true. Her, so we I, hugged. We kind of cut you out of combo. Yeah, I didn't. Whatever. <laughs> My first impression was that I thought she was really tall. I was really, like, nervous that when I met her, she was going to be, like, 5'10", and I'm like, oh, I'm so small. Like... Uh, I always I feel too short around people, but she's the same height as me, or around the same height. So I was like, I was excited by that. It was a weird first impression, but on videos you really can't tell how big someone is, and so I just got the impression that she was like very tall, and 
I don't know. And then I met her and I was like, yeah, we're the same size. Yeah. Yes. Um, she was so, so sweet. I think we were both just really excited to like say hi and actually meet and neither of us filmed in that moment. There were no cameras out. We took a picture um, that we both were like really awkwardly like, like pictures are happening. Um, but then hopefully today we will be doing a video. I think so. I want to do a video with her and I want to do a video with Miss Mary Jane who makes these amazing potly leggings that you probably heard me talk about. And so if I can get those two videos in today, it's a successful cup. You got a lot to do today. That's, oh yeah, you do. You have a lot to do today. Including smoke more pot! Yeah, what are we doing? We have more questions. Yeah. Token with Miley, I'm going to say Miley, I can't read the end of it. Could be Miles though. Token with M says, are we paying attention to the World Cup at all? And if so, who are we rooting for, I think? The U.S., of course, for me. You know, I mean, we're here. I mean, I was kind of we're pissed here. off. At, I'm kind of pissed off how they played uh, last game. I, I don't, or I don't even know if another game's happened. Everything has been so busy lately. There was not the World Cup on in jail. Yeah, that that whole time like threw everything off, and then coming here. Um, yeah, the U.S. could have like won and just been seated in the 16 already, but they fucked up and let them get tied. Yeah, I haven't followed any of it. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not really like a sports fan. I like spirit though. Go team. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't, even think, I don't think you like that. I'm for it. What do you mean? <laughs> no, it's true. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was too much. I'm like for the activity. But when you get down to it, I really think corporate sports are a major distraction and, like, kind of a conspiracy to get people to pay attention to what the government or someone wants you to. Do, 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 do. So I don't really talk about that very much because it's, like, a very minor view of mine. But I just think it's always a coincidence. Like, the teams that are winning are also politically relevant at the time. And it's like, how often can that happen before you're just, like, gagging? Come on. New Orleans really needed it. The West Coast just swept, and the medical or the legal states are in the Super Bowl. Like, I don't know. I don't know enough about sports, but they seem weird. <laughs> this is why I don't talk about it often. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, I loaded a dab. Um, Jay Jay Razan asked about upcoming giveaways. I have mentioned the one tomorrow. And then, I thought I mentioned another one, too. But I forgot now. Seabolt. Seabolt one. And then tomorrow's also the end of the month-long hashtag reefer giveaway that's going on. I always have you guys include that hashtag if you're doing a giveaway on Instagram. But if you've used that giveaway hashtag on an original picture of yours and you reposted pictures for me and Vape Exhale, someone is going to win a vaporizer, concentrate and herb vaporizer. It's like a six or seven hundred dollar value I think I'll say like six hundred dollars for the vaporizer and the glass all the stuff you're gonna get and that giveaway is over tomorrow you can always go to coralreefer420.com slash giveaways and that has giveaway info plus a link to current giveaways I think it's like coralreefer420.com slash reefer giveaway has current giveaway info which will probably have the vape exhale stuff right now and then I don't know if the seaball one's gonna be up there because it's just kind of been like off the cuff that's happening yeah. Giveaways, I try and do at least once a week. Most often it's twice a week. Um, I try and do short giveaways, so there's not a lot of overlapping ones, but right now there is because there was the month-long one. Yes. Yes. Um, the M Pride. Happy Pride weekend, by the way. Totally irrelevant to what you might be talking about, but it's Pride weekend in San Francisco. Yes, yeah. Pride, pr Pride Pride happened today, right? Are you wearing your purple for Pride? I'm um, wearing it for Stony Sunday, but I guess we can go for that. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was in San Francisco. The parade was today. I kept hearing on TV it's the largest celebration of its kind, you know? That's what it is. It's San huge. Francisco goes crazy! It's sad that we have to miss it, because it's, it's just party. But not like party party, it's just like love. No, it's actually party party too. Right? Well, I mean... It's pretty, it's pretty intense. So many colors. So many people. Yeah, but the cup's the same weekend, so we are here. Anyway, uh, Vegan Pride, totally not relevant to other Pride, asked about the Dr. Pepper situation. I don't like to think that I need Pepsi, so sometimes I switch it up. Addiction.
Okay. I'm glad we brought that stupid torch being broken out. It was horrible. <coughs> oh yeah, where are the cats? <coughs> I feel like we should have seen it coming that we weren't going to be able to smoke because everything else has gone wrong. Couldn't leave on time. Had a flat tire. <coughs> Lost power from the hotel. Why would we be able to smoke on a stony Sunday? It was crazy. Um, Token Daily. Has he tried to persuade me to do bongathon? No, because he has no legs to stand on. Has he ever come out here to California to hang out with me at a cup or a rally or Washington for Hemp Fest? No, so he's got no leg to stand on to try and convince me to go back to Colorado. I went there three times last year. Three times! Um, I had a really great time, and Paul was really hospitable and friendly, and we filmed, I think, every time I was in Colorado. So I have been on the channel, but I haven't been personally persuaded to go back at all, mostly because I think people know that I will go back as soon as I can. I can't believe I didn't go for 420. I'm probably not going for 710, so maybe it would be for the Secret Cup Finals, maybe, but I don't even know. I don't know. <coughs> the Animal Cup's the same way you can do. You have fun with the Secret Cup. <laughs> <coughs> It's always so big. Debbie Goldsberry and I have been working together more. We're hosting a party together soon. And she has offered me her stage time, uh, some of her stage time at Hempfest in Seattle, and maybe we're going to do something at the Emerald Cup. So, yeah, if Emerald Cup's the same weekend as the Secret Cup Finals, then I'm going to be at the Emerald Cup. It's going to be awesome. 52 weeks out of the year, and they all got to pick cups on the same weekend. <laughs> <coughs> 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 Sorry for like coughing right at you guys. Um, hi, it's Cherry or Sherry. Definitely recognize your screen name. Hello. Asked if I have any comment on the flower nectar collectors from MMJ Co. They're flower glass, not like four herb flower. Uh, the only thing when I've looked at them online is it doesn't look like they're the water type. It looks like they're uh, the dry type, okay. as far as I can tell. But I didn't look that closely. Um, I think they're really, really cute. I haven't seen them in person yet. I don't think Miss Mary Jane Co brought the nectar collectors like to our house when we were hanging out with her um they might be at the cup but they're really pretty like she's working with the same company that we got ours from was such wasatch 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 something like that glassworks and ours is larger and has water in it <coughs> 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 And I think the water <laughs> makes a big difference for concentrate hits. Even for the Hellstone, the dry pipes that we're using have the, like, restrictions in here. So it's cooler because the air has to expand and contract, and that cools it down. But overall, the water water ones cool it much more. Much more. Um, someone asked for a shout-out, which is so silly to me because if you ask a question, I say your name. So just telling me to say your name gets nothing. Um, moving on to some other questions. Has seeing how somewhere else celebrates cannabis changed the cup at all for you this year? Stand tall, Miss Shanae. Thank you for asking. Uh, it has. It's actually been easier for me to, like, say fuck off to people. Like, not even literally, but I used to come to the cups feeling like I owed people time and, like, I had to go to every booth and I had to see what they were trying. But now it's like, I've seen how it could be done in a less corporate way. I know that the people at the Cups are trying to sell us stuff for the most part. And I feel like this time I'm just more like, hi, it's nice to see you. I've got to keep going, though. Like, I'm here for myself to see my friends and the people that I believe in, which sometimes they have booths. There are great people that have booths. But when it's stacks on stacks of vendors, I used to just, I used to be a lot slower and feel like these were the best of the best in our community. And now I feel like these are the most financially prevalent, but they're not necessarily the most dedicated or passionate, you know? Yeah. Has it changed for you since, like, you've come back from Stand Hall, of course, is referring to Mardi Gras that we went to in Australia. <coughs> yeah, um, has it changed any? Yeah, I guess I don't care as much anymore. Like, I, I just know it's like a, a weed mall, 
you know. So I wish I had remember he said it was a weed mall. I think it was Sally XD that said weed mall the first time. Something like that. I think yeah. it was her. Um, but yeah, it was. It's just like I don't know. If you don't, I didn't need to buy it before I got to the cup. Like, why do I have to buy it then? You know. So, I mean, everything's available on the internet basically. To be fair, the deals with the cup are kind of crazy good. Like, yeah, they're, they're pretty good. Cool they're, 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 there's some good deals. Later. But then again, you know, it's just like. Yeah. Why is it super overpriced later? Yeah. I don't know. Um. Yeah, it kind of has. I think it's just kind of made the cup more approachable and like less of a big deal <coughs> for me. I get really anxious before public events because I just, I like to do things well. I like to be the best employee at my work. I like to know the answers to questions. And so when it comes to a free-form event where there's no, like, way to do it well, you just kind of have to go and, like, wing it, I get really, really nervous. I'm like, well, I, like, you know, how, where are you supposed to go? What do you do? Um, so I feel like this time it's been a lot easier because Nimbin was so fun and Mardi Gras was so just chill. It helped me chill. Go to Nimbin if you get a chance. Go to Mardi Gras. It's fucking awesome. It wasn't just me telling you guys. See, he says it too. It's awesome. It's awesome. Um, Wake and Bake, or Wake and Blake <laughs> asked if talking to a large crowd is more difficult than talking <coughs> to reefers on camera. Do I have any stage fright? I have kind of realized that I, I have a lot of anxiety but I like to perform well, so I would get more anxious about not performing or fucking it up than just being like, let's do it, and I'm gonna just kick ass at it. So some of the like best videos or best public speaking things that I've done have been under extreme emotional distress or times that I couldn't concentrate on really anything other than work, and work is talking. So. I don't get stage fright. I like talking to people. I just get anxiety about doing a good job. Makes sense. Do you think I have stage fright? I mean, you see, like, behind the scenes. No. Because okay. I, I freak out sometimes. Yeah, you freak out sometimes, but who doesn't? He's so nice. I mean, I freak out sometimes. I don't know. Stage, I like... I like the opportunity to tell the truth and stage time to me is very important because there are so many people that use that time to sell you something and I don't want to sell you anything. My content sustains itself. I love what I do. The shirts are a bonus to support the travel and to like show support for the blog. But for the most part, I just like talking about pot and to have a chance to do that and to fill people's minds with the idea that social media has the truth available. Social media has different sources so you can actually fact check more than just your doctor telling you one thing. And that cannabis is not the shameful, horrible plant that we've been told. Like, that's easy for me to talk about. So I don't think I'm afraid. Man, that shit, that's crazy. Like, 12 years ago, being in that D.A.R.E. education class, 12, 15, I don't, I don't even know how old, like, how long ago, what grade you're in, like, fifth grade or something like that. The shit's crazy. They're, like, completely lying to you and just expect you lie. And then, like, you know, not even before I'm dead, like, legalization is happening across America. It's just, it's just so crazy to think of. Hey, a cat. This is Doc. He finally came out from under the bed. Hi, baby. That means this little stash might come around soon, because everywhere Doc goes, stash follows. They're like best friends already. They are. I wasn't sure if they get along, but seriously, everywhere Doc goes, stash like runs up right behind him. It's like, hey, what's going on? What's going on, man? Hey, let's let me play. They're so cute. So maybe stash will come out. Maybe he's sleeping though, because he sleeps more too. I love the kitties. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, I did want to say, I'm gonna pat myself on the back. Because people always talk about how there's like a right time and right place to advocate for cannabis, and the bottom line is there's not. Advocating for cannabis is something you need to do at every opportunity that comes up when people are spreading misinformation. So while I sat in a jail cell with 11 other women, when misinformation came up about cannabis, because these women had obviously tried cannabis, most of these women had tried many drugs, hmm. <laughs> um, I interjected and was like, you know, like, that's super outdated, or, like, you definitely heard that, but that's not actually true. And in the hours that I spent chatting with these women, we ended up talking all about the endocannabinoid system, all about federal versus state law, and how the government can just fuck you at any time if they decide, if, you know, if your name gets pulled out of the hat, that you're the one they're going to test these certain laws on, that you can be the one to go through court even though it's legal in your state, it's not legal federally. And there were women in there that were getting processed for hash, which is concentrated cannabis. Even though cannabis is medically legal and she has a medical license or recommendation, 
and she was arrested and they wrote down like among other things possession of hash and I was like god damn because I brought hash pills with me to jail but they threw them away they didn't let me take my hash pills <laughs> I was like fuck that but I tried um so it was really weird bringing up that conversation and being like do I really want to talk about this like do I really want to entertain a room of inmates about this but it was an opportunity to share the truth about cannabis and I 100% enjoyed that time that I could share that in a horrible situation. Um, it was really, really cool. So there's no wrong time to tell the truth about cannabis and when someone's just spreading lies you can just say like that's actually not true. It's almost like I do not consent. Like is it going to change what that person is going to think or say or do? No. But at least you can be the vocal voice to say that's not true. It's not true. You can go on with your bullshit but I'm a witness to the truth and what you're saying is bullshit, so. <laughs> I told John so much about jail. <laughs> I told him everything. It was crazy. It was weird. I think she liked it. <laughs> I didn't like it at all. It was horrible. But it was nice to meet different people and people that were, <laughs> like, not people you would normally well, what meet. What didn't you like? Let's go over the things you didn't like versus what you liked. I didn't like that you couldn't see a clock. Some fucked up shit. Probably that you didn't have your phone. I don't know. Vacation from the phone is so bad. Forced vacation. And we had a pay phone so I could <laughs> call anyone I wanted if I knew their number. Um, I didn't like that I didn't have my camera. More than, like, a phone. It was like, I want to record this hilarious ass process because there were some people <laughs> doing some whack ass shit and I just needed, I needed to get pictures of some jail stuff, but they don't let you take pictures of jail stuff at all. Um, I think one of my favorite moments was when they search you and you come in. I didn't have to change clothes. I never even took off my clothes. It wasn't like that or anything, but they make you like flip your head over so they can make sure you have nothing underneath your hair if you have long hair as a girl. And it's like, so there's three girls and the officers are facing us and they're like, bend over and show us the back of your neck. And we're like, okay, whatever. And, like, two other girls do it, and the one girl bends the other way, like, turns around and bends her butt over, and the officer kept being like, I don't need to see your butt, please stop, please turn back around, and she, like, wasn't listening or whatever, and that was just hilarious, and I was like, please, please let me tweet this, but I couldn't tweet any of it. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah, they didn't do anything weird, it was just, like, really quick, and I should not talk about it, whatever. Um, Kane Anderson asked, <laughs> Sorry, I'm just, like, so distracted. Um, Kane Anderson is going to start dabbing soon. Congratulations. Concentrates are, like, everywhere. We are in Australia, and we found VHO. Yeah. That's across the globe. Um, so if you start dabbing, he's looking to get the whole setup. What do we suggest? Do you think around, like, $200 to be able to cover it? I would say for 200 you could get everything. Yeah, $200, um... Yeah, you might be able to, like, the, the bare minimum of everything, like, yeah. including a torch and, like, you know, the butane and all Your that. Your first like, gram, too. Yeah, you know, like, those small little few things will just add up that you don't like. Like, you can definitely get, um, like, the rig, the dabber, the nail, and, like, you know, a dome and whatnot that you need all for 200 but it's, like, once you add in those other small things, it might be a little bit higher, but I would say 200 bucks should. I think, like, a first rig could be under 150 like yeah. 150 and under, you should be able to find American-made, thick glass, functional. Like, you should be able to find a decent piece, especially with Instagram and different artists, or just glass for sale. Um, and then in shops locally, just whatever they have. Hey, Doc, that's our dab, not yours. Where's the other cat? When did the other one come out? Yeah. I'll go find him real quick. Oh yeah, but, you do. But um, okay, Doc's gonna move the camera. Maybe I'll take the camera with me real quick. Dun dun. Nah, I don't wanna like deal with all that. Um, but anyway, I would do, I have recommended, I do want to recommend 112 glass. They're really, really inexpensive for their kit. Doc just jumped up here. What up, Doc? It's weed. <laughs> that was it. That was the Doc cameo. Um, but yeah, 112 glass has really inexpensive kits that have nail, dabber, dome, rig, dish. It's a glass needed. nail, though, so it'll work, but you know, you won't be that, ex that happy with the results. Have so you ever seen a nail melt? I actually have never actually seen it now. Oh my god. Well, ours, like, it wasn't mine at my house. It was my friend Burn, you know, mm -hmm. Burn. Um, we were at this, like, dab party. I think it was, like, 710. It was something yeah. that had been getting hit, like, all day. And then all of a sudden, then hitting it, heating it, and the person, like, I forget who was hitting it, but they went to place the dabber on the nail, and the nail just went, like, whoa, and, and, like, just no. collapsed over. And it didn't, it hadn't broken. It just straight, like, melted, but it took impact. It was very weird. 
Uh, so since then, I haven't really been into the glass nails. I'm going to go find the other key. Um, let's see here. Sorry, it's so small. Hello in Canada. Hi, Canada. Hey, dude, do, do you have any plans to visit Canada coming sure. up? Sure. Yeah, probably most likely. Hey, did you just show me leggings? <laughs> no, I was filming. Oh, okay. I don't know what I was filming. I was trying to read. Um, yeah, I would love to go to Toronto because I went to Vancouver. But this is Stash. This is Stash's first Stony Sunday. So Pretty small. Can I get you to purr? Oh, he was just purring, but I think he's a little nervous now. He's a little cross-eyed. He looks kind of like a monkey on camera. <laughs> <laughs> he does. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's a little cross-eyed. He is about two months old. I had to defend my honor and tell the pet store employees why I was a better owner than a 12-year-old girl so that I could bring him home. It took like an hour and a half. We had to really get down to the brass business or whatever of why Stash needed to come home with me. And including that it was my birthday and that his name was Stash and that I'm a cannabis blogger and it was perfect. And so now he lives with us. Doc, come here. When we introduced them, there was a lot of hissing, but now they're friends. Hey, Doc, stay here. Hey, I got both of them now. Doc's a really good big brother. We've had too much fun with him. <laughs> Where are you Crazy. going? Crazy. But yeah, look how small he is. He's tiny. Stash, you're only made just tiny for so long. I want to have it on camera. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> They're so cute. So I don't think we're going to get more cats. No. Maybe a dog or something eventually. Or an elephant, either or. Yeah, elephant would be awesome. So you know, like a mini elephant or a mini giraffe would be cool, like a four-foot giraffe, like fully grown. That'd be, that'd Can be you cuddle cool. with those, though? I mean, I don't need to cuddle with a four-foot giraffe, but it would be awesome to walk down the street. Fair enough. Fair enough. Like you can feed it leaves if you're just walking around. Privet, Russia. Privet. Means mm. hi, Russia. And if it doesn't mean hi, Russia, I'm very sorry for what I said. But they said that's what I mean. Thank you for liking the new shirt colors. I could try and speak Russian. I'm a quarter Russian. I've always wanted to be able to speak Russian. Pri privet? Privet. 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 Does that mean hi? Yeah. Cool. I think so. That's what he says. It says, privet. say Privet. It means hi in Russian. Privet. Privet, Russia. I hope that means something nice. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked up. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Um, we're like 10 minutes away from the end of the video. I can't recap news nug because we just have the one phone right now that's charged and ready and alive. And yeah, my broke one. Tablet. Your phone's broken. Yeah, it's destroyed. But it's alright. That's another thing that's been crazy this Yeah. Week. I completely forgot about that. I guess it's a pretty minute problem. <laughs> so many problems. It's pretty funny, though. Someone was saying that it's nice that I stayed positive during some things, but the bottom line is, like, you don't have an alternative other than to keep going. My tattoo says trust on my wrist, but that's because persevere was too long of a word. And to me, it pretty much means the same thing. Like, yeah. you just keep going. So it's not that I think everything's awesome or that I'm, like, super satisfied with how things played out at all. Um, but I would rather just smile and be like, yeah, that's that's literally what happened. Like, reality is that horrible at this moment, and I'm just sure that there's going to be tomorrow, and I'm sure that it can be amazing as well. Like, I just had the most amazing fucking two weeks of my life in Australia. Yeah, it was like, pretty damn cool. I was crying while I was there. It was so good. It was so amazing. I was crying that it was that fun and amazing so if I have to go through hellish times later it's like yeah that's, that's life that's pretty much life and those good times can happen again totally they will happen again Fuck yeah <sighs> it's just been so interesting so yeah no news like recap um, and I did miss a news nug day because I went to jail but there I know I feel like Oprah went to jail everyone goes to jail you go to jail, you go to jail, <laughs> everyone goes to jail. <coughs> um, I'm really hungry. Yeah, but News Nug is a priority to me. Um, I wasn't able to post really anything that day, and then News Nug will be back with their test. What's up, little dude? I can't 
can't reach that far. Oh, fine. Okay. He is kind of out of reach. Uh, we're like surrounded by cats right now, taking looking back and we're like, who's who's closer? Who can we actually bet? He's like, not me, dude. Not Back him. the fuck up. I think we should answer like three to five more questions yeah. if they are rapid fired. Ask us questions. One question right now. Have you told Mama Reaver about your night in jail? Yes. Had I been able to call, like, since his phone was not working, I wasn't able to get a hold of him, and he actually, like, got everything processed, and, like, I shouldn't have had to call my mom, but I couldn't talk to anyone else. I didn't know what to do. So I did call my mom and her ex-husband, because how many phone numbers do you have memorized? I don't have that many. So, Three. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Um, my mom is, like, not entertained by this at all. She does not think it's funny. She does not think it's part of life. She is very... Just, she's like me. She's just like, yep, it happened. I'm upset about it, but it's over for that part. Now I just have to go to court and pay bills, whatever. Um, yeah. But my mom is super unhappy about it. Next question. <laughs> oh, I can keep talking about that. Yeah, there's no more questions. There's only four more questions we're going to answer. Do, do, do. And then we're going to be at the Cannabis Cup at the Oil Slick booth. Dabbing people out super heavy. Yeah, come get high. You just He's kidnapped so the cat. Cute. You just kidnapped him. He's so cute, though. Who wouldn't kidnap him? I kidnapped him twice. He's like, come on, let me go. Let me go do stuff. No. Look I've at the camera. Shit to do. Look at the camera. <laughs> He's so cute. He's pretty awesome. I wish I could give him to purr so you guys could hear him purr. He purrs a lot. <laughs> then you're just listening to the cat. Um, is yours? No, that's for you, I think. Alright. Yeah. Sounds good. Is there another... Ah! Why don't you hang out with us? Um, I'm trying to think if there were questions that we were asked before. By the way, on my birthday, I smoked train wreck because in a past live Stony Sunday, John said that train wreck makes him think of me. And so a friend picked it up so that I could smoke it. And I was like, oh yeah, my boyfriend thinks I'm a train wreck. <laughs> so we'll never die. That's gonna live forever. You said I'm train wreck. Well, I guess we know you hold grudges. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! Not fair. It's been weird. It's been weird. <coughs> that was a good one. Um, Zahar <coughs> Carpolo asked if we like Wiz Khalifa. That's a guy from Russia. I haven't listened to much with Khalifa lately, but <coughs> I like his enthusiasm for pot. <coughs> I didn't like his new 28 Grams uh, mixtape that he had. I don't know. <laughs> it, w it was it had some decent tracks on it, but I don't know. There was, I want to say, almost 30 songs on the whole album. And I would pick a handful that I really enjoyed. It's a lot of songs. Yeah, it was a, it was a ton of songs. I was like, wow, you can put that many on a CD? Maybe you could have left them out and shut them up. <coughs> <laughs> um, I was going to like prepare some questions for the show, but I did not. No. Um, I'm pretty high. I'm pretty stony. Yeah. Mm, pretty good. Very How well. would you describe the difference between medical and recreational? Do you use medical or recreational? I'm asking uh -huh. a tough question. I think they go hand in hand. Uh, your recreation is part of your like how medically healthy you are. Like if you're if you have a horrible recreational life and you can't enjoy stuff, I don't know. You'd be pretty pretty upset, pretty down in life. But if you can be smile, it gives a better outlook stuff like that so I don't know they go hand in hand um, some people use it more seriously for medical reasons I guess like mine isn't I couldn't say it cures or I could define exactly what it helps but it just makes me feel better I don't know with diabetes know? they say it does help keep blood sugar stable yeah but like they say cinnamon does too oh, shit. You, you know so it's just like do you like cinnamon well I mean it helps, but how Do much does it help? you just smoke cinnamon? Maybe. Yeah, I, I just put it in coffee if I try it, and it's not very good. 
That shit does not go away. It does not dissolve. It, it's like you you just mix it and mix it and you keep mixing it and it just stays. It's like fuck you, cinnamon. Okay. Yeah, there are some <coughs> people that cannabis can help kill their cancer cells, but I don't yeah. have cancer that I know of. Um, but it does help me be well. It hopefully has uh, the preventative properties <coughs> that we've heard about, preventing Alzheimer's, other types of cancer. I saw online it prevents three types of breast cancer. I didn't even know there were three types of breast cancer. I saw crazy things about cannabis being awesome. Um, also from Russia. You guys, Russia's sneaking in on all these rapid-fire last questions, yeah. and all the other countries are letting it happen. But he asked if we know about cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, and would you use it? Do we use it? I, I, I know about it. I've never used it. I, it's, it's still crazy. I don't know. It's uh, like a wild west frontier of currency. But I don't know. It's <coughs> becoming a normal thing. There's so many of them. There's, there's Bitcoin. Uh, <coughs> The OG coin. There's like pot coin too yeah. or something. There's like weedy ones as well. That's kind of crazy. I'm not comfortable using them yet because I know I'm already breaking so many other laws when it comes to like federal cannabis and concentrates and just like promoting illegal substances as some people have said. Um, that I'm not trying to like also get into undermining the national currency and everything. Like that's just a different type of advocacy that I am prepared to get into. But it's awesome and fascinating. Like, it's crazy when you see people that are, like, using that system and sustainably doing it. Um, <coughs> a cryptocurrency is currently sponsoring a NASCAR, <coughs> so they're a real deal. Like, they're big. <laughs> For sure. It's not illegal. Yeah. It's not illegal, but it's also, like, just gray area kind of sometimes. I don't think you can buy a house with it yet. You might be able to. What kind of house? I don't know. It's not a question. We should look. Schitzel is Witzel. I think that's what your name is. Schitzel's Witzel. Just <laughs> about meeting Haley. It was awesome. She's as sweet and as funny as her videos. And it's cool. I really hope we get to make a video together today. Um, she like skyrocketed on YouTube. And I always have to just like, give her major props. Because she's over 100,000 subscribers. She got the platinum play button. I think. I don't know if she got it in the mail. But she has the right to it now. 100,000 subscribers. It's pretty awesome. I would love 100,000. I want the platinum play button. I've never like wanted a goal in a career because I just thought it was like whatever. But then once I saw the platinum play button, like you can you get a things and you made YouTube videos and people watch them and that's awesome. So if I could get that someday, that's what I want. That's yeah. a good goal. It's a good goal. <coughs> Did you see any cool products yesterday? <coughs> <coughs> I can't read the name. <coughs> Shayna Lane for? Um, oh my god. Where are all of the new oil slicks we got? I don't know. We got hella new oil slicks. I don't know where those are. Um, but new, new product. Have you seen any new, new product? We were only there for two hours yesterday. In an hour, we were at the Kathy Lee booth. So, um, how can we find new, new? I, I don't know. The ice cream is the newest thing I've oh, tried. Oh, yeah. But we heard about that before we got yeah. there. I mean, and it's ice cream. It's not new. <laughs> um, and then Shayna has probably been to the cup because she asked, did I try the medicated donuts What the, the fuck? What? Why didn't we hear about these things yesterday? <laughs> I think it's always so mad. I heard about them this morning when you ran out. Smoke Perp was like, did you try them last night? Maybe it was when you went to bed. Oh. Um, they were across, I want to say by Magnolia or something, okay. their booth, which we were there, we didn't see yeah. Magnolia booth. But yeah, medicated donuts, I'm always hesitant, everyone tells me about medicated donuts, but if they're not, like, fried, then it's just kind of a cake. Yeah. It's a dough that's baked, which is a cake. It's a sweet dough that's baked. It's a cake. cake. Frosting. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if it's fried, then that's a donut, and the oil to fry donuts is too hot for cannabinoids, so generally... It's not a medicated fry, it's baked. Hmm. So I'm hesitant, or I'm skeptical. Um, and also, we let the cats go into the dresser earlier, and now Doc is trying to open the dresser with his little paws. He's so smart. Cats are crazy. Um, the last question is, I love burritos13, asking if we've ever grown any buds. One plant, one time, it's all on YouTube. Her name was Wendy, she was awesome. What about you? I tried it three different like growth cycles. Uh, first one sucked. Second one was eh. 
And the uh, third one was it was pretty good, but it was really low yield. Like, I didn't get much for what I did, but, you know, it was all just trial and error. So, growing in a tiny-ass apartment in San Francisco. So you did it in San Francisco? Yeah, I had no real, like, you know, <coughs> place. I guess that's true, yeah. <clears throat> so. I did in San Francisco, too. That's a, like, yeah. one plan, because it's like, yeah, it's, it's like, expensive and small. Yeah, it took up half my room, and my room was tiny already, so it's just like, I had a bed, and a grow tent, and a computer. I was kind of just like, alright. <laughs> it was cool, though. It was neat to be able to wake up and look at plants. Yeah, I hated the fans. Yeah, that, was, that shit was annoying. But I would hear never. the fans on when I was putting the keys to come into my apartment. Like, I'd be getting home after a really long day, and then I would hear the fans as I'm turning the key, and I'd be like, there's no relaxation. There is no peace. Like, I have to go in there to noise. No, it would be horrible. That's it. End of question. Done? We're done with this week's Tony Sunday. I hope you guys had a good time. I am going to just get ready and go to the cup. Pretty Let's much ready. Let's do it. Hope to see some of you guys there. Yeah, I really do hope to see you guys there. We did this episode nice and early, so hopefully people were able to show up. Thank you if you joined internationally as well, because I know that time zone mess is all crazy. It's like 5 in the morning for some of these people. Thank you. And, yeah. Do you want to take another dab? I'm going to take a dab. Okay. I have to take a hit when we say goodbye. Okay.